First Break. Welcome along to the First Break show. And I would say tonight, a kind of First Break exclusive, because this is the youngest guest that we've... So am I right in saying this? The youngest guest we've had it's on the show. Be, got it's be. got to be. Uh, welcome along, Emily Burns, just 15 years old. Hello. How are you? I'm great, thank you. Now, am I right in saying you've pretty much just come straight from school? Yeah. And how today. many of your other friends are on a radio show this evening? Um... I couldn't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite as if there may well actually be quite a few of her friends that are on. It could be a very elite year. Uh, it could be a very yeah. <laughs> it's like well, one's gigging in London, you know, another's on a radio show. Uh, Emily, it is lovely to have you along, and your mother has come with you. And it's always nice to have a mum in the studio. It makes it feel a bit homely. Uh, Louise, welcome along. Hi, thank you. Uh, now, mum didn't want to talk, but and as always with this show, we rope everyone in. It's a community affair, and the reason we've got Emily along is not because she has got an absolutely stunning voice for her age. It is because uh, she is approaching the final of a very large competition in the UK. Yes. Uh, do you want to tell us a little bit about it and how you got involved? It's called Live and Unsigned, and I first auditioned for it in Leamington about three months ago. And then I got through to the regional finals, which I got through also to the Midlands finals, which were at the Bedford Corn Exchange and then that was on votes there and I got through to the national final at the O2 Arena. So you're going to one of the biggest, if not the biggest arena in the UK Yeah. in July, is it? Yeah, in July, July 10th. And what would be the prize if you were to win this competition? Well, I would be signed. I wouldn't be unsigned anymore. Um, the prize is a record deal with future management I think it is so before we go on to talk record deal and mum's frowning at the thought of uh, her daughter <laughs> going off and recording a rather large album um, <laughs> let's talk about you and your music now uh, we're going to hear you're going to perform live for us very shortly um, uh, you have a fantastic voice uh, for such a, a young age a very well developed voice has this come on from uh, a musical influence from the family did you start very young you know when how old were you when you first started sort of singing I was yeah very young sort of Five or six, I started singing and then picked up a guitar when I was sort of seven or eight. And my music just sort of went from there. I started writing songs. Now, is Mum a singer-songwriter? Unfortunately not. No. Oh, no. Um, but so we're not going to get a duet uh, this evening. Her grandma's a good singer and her dad and her brother are also very good singers. So it's definitely in the family. And they've encouraged it from a, a sort of young age. Um, is there somewhere and some way that the people listening now that can go on? Is that They can go to Live and Unsigned, uh, to the website, and, and, and how, they, how they can help sort of get you through. Well, there's a huge prize for the person that gets the most views on muzu.tv. Right, okay, right. We need to get this clarified. So muzu is is m u z u dot t v. Yeah. Right, can we get the muzu.tv? I'm doing this to the camera, so if you go online you can see this. Muzu.tv. And what's the name of the song that they have to watch? Um the one the man who can't be moved. Oh, I don't know if I can fit this on the page. The no. man who tidy at the end. can't... <laughs> oh, the pen's running out. Be moved. Hold on, sight. Okay. The man that can't be moved. Muzu.tv. Great choice of... Go online pen. now, click on it, and watch it a hundred times... 150 times because this is all about local music and if Emily goes through to the O2 um, yeah. and gets a recording contract she can come back and we can be friends with famous people yeah. <laughs> that's what it's all about it's not about Emily winning I don't care about a recording contract she'll be right up there with Lee Ryan she will yeah we had Lee Ryan on a while ago I know I saw it did yeah. you yeah although when we played the awkward shuffle which is a competi- where it was sort of kind of like a game where we get their iPod and we shuffle it all of the tracks were his own it was How so embarrassing. embarrassing. <laughs> I was embarrassed for him. We thought we got to own it. It got to a Michael Jackson one. But it was just a cover by Lee Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> so muzu.tv, M-U-Z-U. Go and check it out and click on the man who can't be moved, which I believe is a, uh, I'm going to say fray or I'm going to say no, uh, no, no script. Yeah, script. I was second time. Yeah, all right. It's uh, also a medley with Irreplaceable by Beyonce. Oh, really? That's... 
So you've done half and half sort of into one track? Yeah, with oh. also, you can see one of my own songs on there as well. Okay, go and check it out now, and we'll hopefully we can support Emily all the way down to the um, O2. And I know that you're going to win anyway, but if you get the runners-up, <laughs> it's even more of a bonus.